Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning of Isaac Repents where I tried to resolve it in the previous episode. What did we do? What did we do? I cannot remember. But anyways, we are jumping in. Um, I actually cannot remember at all. Anyways, let's randomize our character and see who we get. We got Samson Ultra Greed. Let's give that a little go, shall we? Let's give that a little go. Samson to Ultra Greed. Where are you, Samson? Here you are. Let's jump in. Greedier. Here we go. Of course, we know Greedier mode. It can be a pain, but I actually think Samson's a pretty good character to go into Greedier mode with. Honestly, health up right off the bat's a pretty good idea. I should have gone to the cash room prior to this, but I'm going to go after because I'm a dumbass. Um, and we will see what we got in our shop. Uh, it doesn't matter anyways. We got a heart. See? It all worked out. So, how exactly does this work? Spawns a special set of spikes in the deal of the devil room. Oh, okay, so it still spawns them in the devil room. That's not great. Also, that's a mega chest. <laughs> hmm. Uh. It might be a good idea because it gives us money. I don't know. I've never used this item. And I feel like we have to have quite a lot of HP to really make it work. But I guess we'll try it out. Again, remember guys, uh, I am using the uh, rebalanced Greedy Mode, Mode Waves mod that I created uh, while we play Greedy Mode here. It is a mod that rebalances like 2,000 of the Greedy Waves. Um, it changes different boss waves, enemy waves, removes all the annoying invincible enemies, removes a lot of the um, annoying enemies in general, like the lumps that go underground, and turns down some of the waves that are a little bit too aggressive in my opinion, and especially makes the first floor and second floor quite a lot easier than they were originally because I feel like they were well overturned for Greedy Mode and caused some significant issues where if you've got quite a lot of champions, you basically kind of got stuck in this in this weird loop of not really being able to do anything also just realized this character is going to be fucking incredible for greedy mode because we just get an endless stream of enemies to swing at like look at that that was pretty brilliant that was pretty brilliant okay this guy's gonna be a bit more annoying and the worst part is really wish i killed him earlier because another boss is gonna spawn but yeah now the boss waves and ultra greed himself should really be the actual true challenge of greedier now um we shouldn't see anywhere near as much of the first dying on the first uh the first floor due to the normal waves not even the bosses that was something i always found that was very very annoying about um greedier mode it was way too easy to die to um to some stuff that you just shouldn't be dying to so i really don't think we want to take that right it seems like a bad idea so let's pop in here little chest is actually pretty good if it spawns based on waves if it spawns per room then it might be a problem but if waves count and it can give us keys and pills and cards this could actually be pretty good um so i'm just gonna take health up for now i think Health up isn't exactly the best thing that we could get in the world, but I think it's pretty useful. Also, another thing about the uh, the boss waves and especially the, the like, deal with the devil boss waves, they've been turned back just slightly to stop having, like, I believe this wave originally had three of these little mini monsters spawn, but now it only has one. Because I just feel like the game, especially in the early game, was way too overturned, overtuned. So hopefully this helps you guys out there that are struggling with greedy mode. Certainly helps me. And I know that some of you out there will be like, oh, but Turtle, this is like cheap because it's easier than it should be i mean yeah if if that's how you want to think about it it may be it, it maybe is to you but to me it's not to me it's just fixing something that was broken in the game already i'm not gonna i'm not gonna feel bad about it i'm playing the game how i best enjoy it if you guys have a problem with that then i do apologize but i'm always gonna play to have the most enjoyment for myself toothpicks here is very nice um yeah so we'll go in here again as well um ooh, that's a nice amount of bombs um we will pop you guys open. Got a three skull Monty over here as well. Ooh, that's pretty damn good. We're going to get quite a lot of bombs here. We can get some bomb upgrades. That'd be nice. Tear detonator is an interesting one. I'm kind of interested in that. Okay, damn it. I was really hoping for a single extra penny here. Oh, ho, ho, he's done it. He's done it. The mad lad's done it. Good, good, good. Right, now we can get into our item room early. And ghost baby, yay! <laughs> oh my god, really we want th stuff that's going to be increasing our damage output so that we can reach, um, what's it called, rage mode. 
as soon as possible because we just saw that once we enter rage mode, oop, here it does indeed work the way I thought it would. That's great to know. Um, very good to see that we're getting extra stuff out of that. But yeah, mushrooms as well. They've been turned back a little bit. I felt like they were a bit too common as well. Yeah, that's good because it's going to fully refill our meter here. But yes, I do think that rage mode here is... Um, it's not going to last for the entire duration. But it's at least going to be a little better than it would be otherwise. It's especially not going to last for the full duration when we're accidentally getting hit by random shit. Okay, don't walk into every enemy. Um, at the start of a boss wave, I don't think that really does much for us. But yes, a little chest is actually a very, very, very positive pickup for us here. I didn't really think prior to playing Greedy Mode how good little chest would be. But yeah, it's, it's very, very good getting cards that you would normally have to purchase and have no other way of getting. Getting maybe additional money, additional keys, additional bombs. There's a bunch of stuff that you can get that's going to be super, super valuable. Okay, you spawn, you spawn more things for me. Thank you. Okay, don't worry about him. We're losing a bit of health here, but it's it's nothing major. Nothing major. Getting some extra bombs there. Lovely, lovely. More bombs indeed. Uh, Item-wise, tier detonate is the only thing that I really want here. I think I'm just going to re-roll, though. I don't think it's quite good enough. Um... I'm going to buy that, and I'm going to buy this. Yes, Hanged Man's very, very good. Enemies that we kill drop money. Uh, so this is really good as well. Uh, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, let's pop it here. Yep, that worked exactly as I thought it would. Great stuff. It also gave us triple shot. Oh, yes, that was perfect. Well worth the cost of doing business. Now, this is kind of a hard one, because Pascal Candle is very good, but I think it's somewhat useless for us. Circle of Protection, pretty good. Chance to reflect projectiles, deals contact damage, or the sensor. I think we go with Circle of Protection. An odd choice, definitely, but I think considering who we're about to fight, Greedier, it's definitely the better player. Right, what else is available? I think a Tears Up is very good here. Another HP up, um, I don't think so. Let's go for another reroll. Booster pack. I'm just going to bomb now. If we get something good, we get something good. If we don't, we don't. Uh, we'll buy that. And I think we'll just go to the next floor. Uh, the full card, we don't really care about that too much. And yeah, let's carry on going. Yeah, circle protection. I think Pascal Candle is better and so is Sensor. But I think for the specific type of run that we're going for right now, circle protection is going to give us a better chance at victory here. Um, I definitely think that's the case. Right, let's pop it into Iron Rose. So far, so good, though. This character seems very good for this. Wafer's fantastic here. The Halo's fantastic here. Two very good items. Stats are looking muy bien. Very good. Um, I don't really know how to feel about the Eraser. It doesn't seem like it would be that good for us. Honestly. Um... I think we play the Bomb Beggar a bit here, because we're going to get a ton more bombs in the future. And if we can get some good bomb upgrades out of this, or some money, it's pretty good stuff, really. And if he gives us more money, it's going to pay for itself, really, isn't it? There you go. Exactly. Paying for itself. We don't really need the bombs for anything, so... The fact that he's giving us money right now is pretty darn good. Uh, let's pop that. Let's do some re-rolling. I don't think anything here is worth taking right now. Squeezy, I will definitely take for more fire rate. That's good. Lumper calls, kind of okay, but I think we keep rolling. Eye drops, I'll definitely take that. That's going to put us up to full fire rate. But anyways, let's uh, let's carry on. We're in a very good spot right now, I think. Eye drops put us up to full fire rate and obviously gives us a chance to fire those extra tiers out of our other eye. It's not exactly extra tiers. It just it makes the order that you shoot them in from out for like it it. It gives you a tears up for one eye, so it, like it, it makes your ears not uh, ears <laughs> tears not come out at the same pace, but that leads to some good stuff. It leads to like some like double shots, triple shots. Ah, unfortunately we lost it there. It is going to be hard to keep that going super consistently, but we have really good stats outside of that at the minute, so I don't really mind. I got hit twice there. That was a bit stupid. But yeah, these are kind of the worst enemies you're going to find. The knights where you've got to um. The nights where you've got to 
get behind them to shoot them. They're the, the worst sort of invulnerability enemies. Of course, as, as you may imagine, what, the reason that I paused there, you'll, you'll be able to guess it already. I was itching my nose because this game hates my nose. We got the number six magnet thingy. I don't know how good that would be, but I definitely think this is better for now. Got a lot of extra bombs here. Uh, so we buy that. This, this will give us max fire rate. In fact, it went over max. Very nice. And we should fire tears kind of a bit weirdly. Uh, bombs for you still. Hopefully you pay out. Even if you just carry on paying out with money, we're getting more value really. And we're getting more bombs back too. I was really hoping you'd pay out with an item, but... A sticky nickel? Are you kidding me? That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude. Bit of a rude dude thing to do, I'd say. Bible tracks? I don't think that's going to help. I don't think we can spawn Eternal Hearts in uh, Greedy Mode here, so... Not the best for us. But yeah, we're killing much quicker now, so we're activating Rage Mode much faster. Very, very nice stuff. Oh, <laughs> it looked like he spawned war then. I know that's not what actually happened, but it very much looked like he just spawned war. Okay, this is kind of getting annoying now, war. Definitely want to get rid of the spider real quick. I'm very glad that we have the wafer, because I, I think it's only Greedier that deals double damage. Or maybe even none of them, but definitely some of Greedier's attacks deal double damage. So it's very nice to have a good counter to that. Right, keep smacking. Um, more bombs. This guy's kind of a kind of a little joker. Do you know what? I want my uh, I want my sticky nickel. I know that you're gonna bomb everything. Good for you. Um, interesting. Golden demon's tail. Uh, I don't really think that works for us. I'm gonna be honest. I'm only giving you one more. I'm not giving you all of them. Uh, nah, I'm not going to take anything more from there. Let's do this, see if we get an angel deal. Okay, this is another thing that's changed. There is literally no boss waves in existence that spawn double blow anymore. There was many of them that existed prior. I have since got rid of all of them, because double blow is fucking bullshit. He's already bullshit enough on his own. Never mind double. This version of Bloat is awful as well. I, I, I initially thought, oh, this, this version of Bloat's not too bad because um, he uh, he doesn't Brimstone. But no, that's that's a lie. He, he can still Brimstone. We just got to play the field with this guy. Let him do his thing. I just, I hate the eyes. Why do the eyes have to exist as well as everything else? There's like maggots everywhere. There's eyes everywhere. You're firing Brimstone on me. It's just like, come on now, dude. Could you not just have a little bit of decency? And not be such a cockwomble. I oh, forgot to say, stop picking up the Bible tracks with my swings. It's so annoying. And he finally hit me there. Okay, Angel Deal, what do you have for me? Urn of Souls, I would say, is a pretty good pickup for us. So yeah, let's let's just grab Urn of Souls. Urn of Souls is fun. It's a good item. Should help us out quite a lot here. Let's go back in here and quickly grab this heart. And I'm sorry, Bomb Beggar, you betrayed me. You gave me quite a lot of money. I'll be, I'll be definitely happy for that. But the rest of the stuff, kind of feel a little betrayed. A little personally attacked there, Bomb Beggar. Big Sado. Uh, Pandora's box doesn't really cut it for us. Some more bombs. Get some more bombs. Hit ourselves into the spiked rock. Completely intentional. Don't ever think it wasn't. Definitely going to do some re-rolling here. I don't think any of those are really worth it. Potato peel is kind of an interesting one. Definitely grab that. Definitely grab that. What? That's going to give us two more keys. So I'm going to grab it just because it's half price. Okay, good. Right. In here we go. That's pretty decent. That's not so decent, but it's not bad. Right. Let's go ahead. This floor especially, like, all the lumps and stuff have been replaced. These guys can still appear, but they're kind of more rare. Uh, but the lumps and stuff don't appear as much anymore, and they've been replaced by the little hearts. You know, the, the Mask of Infamy hearts. But a lot of them don't have the masks with them. It's just the hearts on their own. So they're not quite as egregious, quite as annoying as they were prior. This boy's stuck. 
This boy's stuck like a duck. But yeah, now we have the flamethrower going too, which I feel is going to be pretty damn useful for us. Okay, good. Yeah, these little dudes here, these little hearts, should be quite a lot more common now. I feel like they're a fitting enemy for the womb, and they're hard, but they're not too hard. It's kind of like, if you kill them early, it's not going to be a problem. But if you leave them too long, then you might have a bit of an issue. Okay, so we can't have the... We can't have the, the jar out while he's doing his thing. Can you not charge at me at point blank range, sir? Thank you. Bomb in your throat. Oh shit, we entered rage mode already. Oh my god, we're entering rage mode so fast right now. There you go, a bit of piercing there. God damn, we enter rage mode so quick. Okay, Skolex here is annoying, but not the worst. They got you. Fire takes care of Skolex pretty quick, actually. Especially if he actually pops his tail out at any point. Doesn't look like he's going to. There you go, look. Angel deal as well. Hmm, Eden Soul could be interesting. Flight... <sighs> Flight, I don't really see being that good. Let's go Holy Water. Holy Water's pretty damn useful. Never thought I'd see the day, but it is. Uh, Reroll. Sprinkler's good. Sprinkler's very good. Waste a little bit of money rerolling here. Yep, we'll take that. And we'll be on our way. Another bomb beggar there, but this... I, I'm not... I don't trust anymore. I don't trust Bomb Beggars to give me what I need. You can back away. Glitter Bombs? Kind of interesting, actually. Magic Mush is very, very good. But Glitter Bombs is kind of an interesting one, actually, because of the situation that we're currently in with the fact that we're going to have a ton of bombs. A pill? I guess I'll try it. Speed down? Great. <laughs> it's not actually that bad, but still. Um... Let's say I go into here. This will probably activate Rage. Soul of Blue Baby. I don't know if I care. I think two red hearts is genuinely better. But yeah, Magic Mush made us bigger, which is very, very good. Because that makes our, um, what's it called, bigger? Our uh, swing. Our what's it called? Sounds like I'm talking about my dick. No. Just our swingy swing. Where's the enemy exactly? What's going on? Oh, I kind of love this. This is very fun. Okay, got you as well. But you guys can go down very easily with this and then straight into the swing down. Yeah, having this way bigger swing is so good. Sister Viz, you are gone. That Sister Viz wave as well, as a normal spawning enemy wave, is rarer as well. That's another change I made. Because I felt like that was way too common on this floor. Oh my god. I feel so strong. Krampus, you've been just destroyed. Okay, we've got Monstro 2 here. Not too bad at all. I managed to actually kill one of them immediately. Uh, not kill one of them, freeze one of them, sorry. And you are dead as well. Thank you for playing. Angel deal again? God damn. The angel deals are coming fast and loose. Sadly, that is not something that I want. I do not care for it. We haven't picked up any other books, but I'll pick it up anyways. Just in case. But yeah, not something I'm really that interested in. Judgment? No, I don't really want to play that type of judgment. Grab that for some more HP. And I'm going to just bomb this. Um, no, nothing there. Okay, uh, we're doing pretty well anyways. This is our last floor coming up here, so... We're, I think we're ready to fight him. HP-wise, we're looking very, very good. Uh, Bozo... Actually, I'm going to take Bozo, just in case we get a rainbow poop during the fight. I think that's pretty darn useful. Also, now it makes us look amazing. 
Okay, for a single penny, I'll do it. Also, did it break in there? Whoa, what the hell? It broke into pure bombs. Is that a thing that can happen? Then give me it hurts. Okay, piercing would be really good. That's definitely the next thing on the list here. Oh, uh, also, this floor has a lot more of these greed gapers. Uh, I, I removed a lot of the annoying enemies like the spike blocks and again, like the, the hearse and stuff like that. And I replaced them with mainly um, greed gapers because it's thematic, it's fitting. Why don't they spawn on this floor, like, at all? Like, there's one wave that has greed gapers, so I thought I'd add them in as kind of a fodder enemy that's pretty easy, but they, they spawn in large numbers, so if you have... If you, if you don't have a lot of damage or a lot of tears, they can be pretty difficult. God damn, we just enter rage mode immediately. It's great. Oh my goodness. I love it. You be gone, sir. Thank you. Ow. Okay, good. You're gone too. Oh, that was kind of a spicy one. Angel deal. Holy Mantle's not that useful for us. I will say an Eternal Heart's pretty good though. Um, and then what was the thing we wanted? Oh yeah, Piercing. Piercing's pretty damn good for us. Um, and then, yeah. I think we're good to go. I think we'll buy uh, buy our Red Heart, make sure we're at full health. Didn't have to buy it, but oh well. Uh, and yeah, with, with having Bozo here, I think we're in a very good spot to win here. Very short video, but we're going to have that with Greedy Emerge on some of these stronger characters, so that's fine. I kind of forgot that you would spawn, but not the biggest of issues, is it? Don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't need any of the money. I suppose I can get... The, the, having the extra bombs is nice. I suppose there's something to say about that. Okay, Holy Mantle's gone already, but that was kind of to be expected. Okay, Flamethrower... We'll just use it all up and it'll sort of come back when it comes back when he spawns things. As you can see now. Piercing plus Tech Zero, of course, is going to be kind of the star of the show here. And that's exactly what we were looking for. Rainbow poops there are going to be great. It hurts, whatever it's called. Is it called It Hurts? It's going to give us massive tears up every time we get hit here, which is, again, really, really good. Stay out of the way of all of those. Oh my god. Honestly, Rage Mode here is kind of inconvenient. We do a lot of damage in Rage Mode, but I'd like to just sit back. Kind of let it happen. Oh god, our tears have gone so high. Oh god, I didn't realize that was there. Do you know what? Pop that now. Okay, while he was frozen, he hardly spawned any keys, which is great for us. Some of them are like really delayed as well, which is weird. More keys? Okay. Just let me use my tears game, please. <laughs> Just sit at the door. That's kind of funny. Oh, they don't give us any extra extended timer. I thought killing these would extend our uh, rage timer, but they don't. Oh no, a golden penny's terrible. He can keep picking that up. We don't want a golden penny. I don't even know how they work with this guy, but I, I guarantee it's a bad idea having one around. Stop! I think the golden penny's gone. I don't actually know. Anyways, this guy's going down. Oh god, our fire rate is insane. Gotta use our bombs here because we can break through boss armor using bombs. Also, we might get like random hearts and stuff in the boss fight. Or pills. I'm not going to take the pill though. I think that'd be the best of ideas. There you go. That's one phase done. Second phase, of course, a little more difficult, especially considering we have to get close to him. But I do think Rainbow Poops will save our life here. I think no matter how badly we do, we're bound to get at least one Rainbow Poop. As long as if we get it early, we can keep it for later. We'll be fine. And also, there is no limit to how many tears that we can get from It Hurts, I believe. Also, we haven't really been using this at all. Should use this more. I suppose it lets us fire from range when rage mode is activated, which is good. 
We pick up all these pennies so he doesn't pick them up. Oh my god, stop doing this. He's doing really annoying attacks at the minute. Really annoying attacks indeed. Ones where it makes it kind of difficult for me to get to him. Where are you spawning all this money from, sir? There's nothing left to destroy. I don't even get it. I don't understand, sir. Explain yourself. But anyways, he is Dunza. Very, very easy there. Very, very easy indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed, even if this was quite a short one. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.